Hello everyone, this is Hazard from the Project Lore Guild on the Executor server. Today I'd like to show you a Lich King kill, which isn't the prettiest kill, but it's a kill nonetheless. I forgot to hit the record button right off the bat, so we're going to be going into the first transition right away. Um, all you gotta do is get onto the outer platform and wait for these raging spirits to show up. And there's one right there. The tank will face them away from the raid, and all you have to do is nuke them down. You also have these ice spheres targeting a character on in the raid, and you will just have to kill them before it gets to them. As if they do, it will explode and send them off the platform. Now you'll just continue on killing the raging spirits um, from here you will be going into the next phase which usually is, is phase two um, watch out for the raging spirits when they come on the platform you will just continue to nuke them um, and then go on to the lich king but we will have a valkyrie coming out right away which is right here all you have to do is stun it and then uh, just nuke it down stun it nuke it and then before it gets to the edge and throw someone off the edge uh, you also have a defile coming out during this phase, which is the thing that got placed on the outer edge, which is a great placement. Uh, don't stand in it as it will spread, which is what you will see right up here as half the melee gets caught inside of it. Right there. Bam. Um, that's not a good thing that happens, but the bad thing about it is that the Valkyrie ended up picking up one of our shaman close to the edge as he was running out of it and got thrown off the edge. Uh, that happens. Sometimes you can't avoid it as defiles and placement and all that stuff really messes up this fight. This is pretty much the only hard difficulty of this fight. Uh, pretty much all you gotta do is rinse and repeat. As you can see, another Valkyrie came out. All you gotta do is stun it and nuke it down. Continue on with that. Watch out for defile. Try and place them on the outer edge away from the raid where people are not standing. And now we will be going into the next transition. Once you get him to 40%, he will reappear the outer platform and have a hissy fit in the middle of the platform and try and do some sort of uh, bolt to you, which will do a little bit of damage. Same thing as the last, kill the raging spirits, kill the ice spheres before they hit anyone, and you will uh, easily get into the phase three. Um, raging spirits, you kind of want to nuke them down as fast as you can because you don't want to have too many of them as you go into the next transition as you will be wasting your DPS trying to kill them. As you can see, I just had a wonderful miss, which is not an awesome thing. But that happens when you're a fire mage as the hit is really high. Um, continue on killing the raging spirits and he will bring out these vile spirits, which he will do right there. The vile spirits are basically these spirits in the air which will come down and explode and do major damage to anybody in the vicinity. What we have is luckily a, two paladins in the group. So on this one we just had Wise do a pro move. He bubbled and he went and soaked up almost all of the vile spirits so no damage really went out. Um, on this one we will have our other paladin which is Kershocker run and soak up as many as he can. Him and our off tank help out and they soak up as much as they can right there. Do a good job at that. From there uh, you can have a shadow priest soak up if they ha if you do have a shadow priest which is good. I will try right here to soak up some of it with an ice block which really didn't actually end up happening that great because only one of them hit me. So the rest of them kind of go into the raid. Luckily our healers did a good job in keeping the uh, raid up. Uh, from here we will then have the uh, off tank uh, go and soak up as many as you can. Sadly he didn't end up picking up barely any of them right here. And the rest of them go into the raid and kill one of our melee DPS. Uh, luckily we are already at close, at or close to 10%. Uh, and here we go, he ends up killing us all. And now you go into a two minute role play. Which is pretty much the kill of the Lich King. After this, there's really nothing to do but nuke him down. Um, as you can see, the Vile Spirits are still up. Um, but they will dissipate soon. Sadly, the Shaman that got thrown over the edge didn't get to see anything fun and exciting except for the platform, which is all you get to look at when you are dead down there. And right here he's going to try and turn us all into his Scourge army, which actually doesn't end up working out for him as Tyrion 
actually had the power the whole time to break out of that ice thing and kill the Ledge King. Shocking. And there goes the Vile Spirits. And here comes Tyrion breaking out and destroying the Frostmourne, which sends Lich King into a spiraling defeat. As you can just see, our, our Shaman just popped up, and now he is doing a wonderful 130 DPS on the Lich King at the moment. Now you just, everyone pops up, everyone gets res, and now you just nuke him down. Here you will see me spike up to a 16 K DPS, which is uh, quite nice. And there you go, that is the Lich King. Pretty simple fight once you get your head wrapped around it. Yeah, we'll just skip the movie right there, show you the loot real quick. Sadly, none of us really need much of it because we're all overgeared for this. Um, there's the staff, there's the war mace. The staff ended up going to our shaman, which is uh, Kira and the mace went to our tank warrior um i hope you enjoy this fight and uh please check out the website when you have some free time thank you and see you later